Here's how to turn on RCS messaging on your iPhone. Now, if you're on your iPhone and you want to enable RCS messaging so that when you text someone without an iPhone, you can do things like react to a text and have high good quality videos and photos sent over, all of the features that are built into the RCS. I'll show you how to do it. But first, hit the subscribe button down below. Really helps me out. Thanks, guys. Now on here, the first thing you want to do is it says basically what's the difference between those this support page, but you can scroll down here and there are some requirements before you turn it on. It says to use RCS and you need an iOS 18 or later and you need a text message plan from your carrier that supports RCS. And you can go to this link, it will show you a long list of carriers that do support RCS messaging on your iPhone. So make sure you have a carrier in a country that supports it. So let's open up your settings. And the first thing we'll do is tap on general and software update. Now, again, you need iOS 18 or later for this to be available. So make sure you just upgrade to iOS 18 if it is available and if you haven't done it already. Now let's go back here. And after we've done that, we'll tap on apps at the very bottom. And then we'll scroll down to messages. So find M's and tap on messages. And then scroll down to the very bottom here. You can see text messaging and RCS messaging. I can tap on it. And all I need to do is toggle it on. It says waiting for activation. It might take, uh, you know, 10, 20 seconds or so to activate that RCS messaging. But after it is activated, then you'll be good to go either sending or receiving text messages to anyone without an iPhone with an Android phone or anything like that. You'll be able to get all of the features built into RCS messaging. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.